Hello everyone. I'd like to talk about the title topic. Malignant lymphoma is a group of blood cancers and has many subtypes. In pathological diagnosis, after observation of hematoxylin and eosin stained tissue, final decision is made based on expression patterns of immunohistochemically stained tissues. It is variable that those subtypes can be predicted from digital h and stained images. However, we have some difficulties in pathological image classification. First, image patches extracted from a whole slide image are often used due to image size limitation. Tumor and non-tumor regions are mixed in a tissue specimen and we cannot assign the correct labels without pathologist annotation. Second, our database consists of tissue slides which were collected from 80 different hospitals. There are some varieties of staining conditions and it degrades the classification accuracy. Third, it is difficult to select appropriate magnification to predict subtypes. In practice, Pathologists change magnification repeatedly in observation of tissue slides. Here, we have three key ideas to solve those problems. MIL is a type of weekly supervised learning program, and it assumes that a positive bug contains at least one positive instance, while a negative bug has no positive instance in it. And, Domain adversary learning can train the feature extractor to ignore difference of staining conditions by regarding each patient as an individual domain. Moreover, our approach uses multi-scale images simultaneously in MIR framework in order to mimic the pathologist practical observation. In this work, we propose a method for subtype classification that can detect tumor-specific features automatically in unannotated whole thread images by efficiently combining multiple instance, domain adversarial, and multi-scale learning techniques. In our algorithm, the proposed MSDAMIR CNN is trained in two stages. First, CNN for single scale is trained. We employed an attention network for aggregating feature vectors in a bug, where discriminative patches obtain higher attention weights and only such image patches contribute to cross prediction. Domain adversarial learning can train the feature extractor to ignore the difference among domains by gradient reversal layer. DA regularization is performed on image patches with lower attention weights. At stage 2, after training several CNNs for each scale, bugs for much scale images are input into the corresponding feature extractors. Attention network can find discriminative features from appropriate scales. In the experiment, we performed two cross classification to discriminate diffuse large B cell lymphoma, DLBCL, from non DLBCL. Non DLBCL consists of T cell lymphoma and two types of Hodgkin's lymphoma. 20x and 10x magnifications were employed for much scale input. As a result, our proposal method achieved the best performance compared with the other baseline method. Especially, we confirmed that consideration of multi-scale input enhanced the classification accuracy. Moreover, we visualized attention weights of image patches by generating heat maps. We can see that highly attention weighted regions by red in heat maps correspond to positive nuclei in the CD20IHC stem tissue images. Hence, we confirmed that the proposed network could automatically find tumor-specific features. Thank you for attention.